We're going to take you through our Woodward Series 3-in-1 gauges today. I'll go ahead and fire this set up for you. You can see we've added our full sweep self-calibration at startup. What that tells us is right off the bat, uh, it's done an internal uh, check and everything's operating properly. Um, first thing you'll notice is we've added our dead fronted indicators to all of our 3-in-1s. Uh, so now you see them, now you don't. Um, you know, that way you keep that, cl that clean um, look without the indicators being obtrusive. And if you don't need one, just don't hook it up and you don't see it anyway. So there you go. I'll show that to you one more time. Uh, the Woodward series feature uh, incandescent perimeter lights. So they light around the dial. Uh, but what's some really exciting is some of the features we've done behind the scenes. Uh, the first thing we did was we added, uh, we used to have a two plug system. Now we've gone to a single plug with an amp connector, which is multicolored. So wire it up, plug it in, off you go. Really simple. Uh, in another video, later in the video, we'll show you how to set your fuel level. Just hit the dip switches, off you go. Another neat thing about the fuel level is we've added a uh, uh, electronic dampening, so no more fuel slosh issues uh, for anybody. Uh, so that really makes it easier to read. But let's take a look at some of the features on the screens. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is in the tachometer. That's our service hour uh, setup. Uh, we have peak RPM. Uh, we have auxiliary inputs, for example, oil pressure, uh, boost, uh, fuel pressure, whatever you'd like. Actually, there are two inputs on the TAC, and there's one additional input on the speedometer. You can do this without any additional boxes. Uh, all you need to do is install, uh, for example, a temperature sender or a pressure sender, and that's it. No boxes, no drivers. Uh, so on our, on our speedometer, there is your... Uh, uh, trip meter, wrong button. Uh, it's your service counter. For example, if you want to uh, set it to change your oil, rotate your tires. Uh, you also can display uh, your current speed, also in kilometers. Uh, your peak speed, your vehicle voltage as well, and then our new performance timers. We have eighth mile time, quarter mile time, zero to sixty, and back to our, our main odometer page. Uh, Another thing I'm going to take you through here is I'm going to take you through some of the setup menus. First thing I'll take you through here, uh, your cylinder selection, very easy to set up. Just select the, the setting you'd like and go back to 8, set, yes. Input filter, you can select, uh, we have three different digital settings you can use for whatever type of input you have. If it's a, a coil, a uh, MSD box, PCM, whatever, we have a setting for that. <clears throat> this is your shift alert setting. Uh, what you can do is you can actually go in there and set the number of uh, the RPM you'd like to, to display a, a shift warning on the screen. It'll be easier just to get out of here and start over. This is your auxiliary inputs. Again, there's two on the tachometer, and all you need to do is add that sender. So we have oil pressure, fuel pressure, boost. Uh, we have a shift driver, not used. This one's already uh, oil temperature, trans temperature, water temperature, oil pressure. I'm gonna set it for oil pressure still. And then there's your second one. Again, you can add the same things. That's the software uh, version that's in this tachometer currently. Okay, so let's let's go through the speedometer setup. Hold in the button. We have an external button while turning on the key. Okay, easy enough. There's your setup menu. That's your service reset. That'll reset your service interval. Uh, for example, let's say you change the you change the oil. Just reset it. It'll tell you when it's to do it again. It's your manual calibration. You can get in there by holding this in and you can scroll through the different numbers. You can change this. This is uh, good if you know the actual pulses that you need. Uh, for example, you know you have an LS engine and that the PCM outputs 4,000 pulses per mile. Um, all you need to do is set it to 4,000 and off you go. 
Again, we've added a lot of yeses and nos and it kind of confirmations to our screens to make it much easier to calibrate uh, our speedometers and tachometers. This is your uh, drive a mile function. Again, we have another video just on that. Again, very, very easy to get through. It, it walks you through. Input filter. This is the, a, a digital filter to set the sensitivity depending on the, the speed sender. If you have a two wire, uh, for example, uh, an original equipment sender, a three wire aftermarket, uh, PCM output, GPS, whatever, you just go to the chart in the book, see which one you need and set it and that's it. Uh, service set, that's so you can actually set the mileage for your service interval. Um, very easy to set up. Set odometer. Now this is a new feature that we've included and there's a whole other video on that as well where you can set the mileage to match your vehicle. Um, we found it here in Michigan. We're not allowed to do that but we were able to add this feature so it can be done on site. Uh, and then again within the first 100 miles uh, of use you can set that. Um, auxiliary input. Each speedometer has one auxiliary input uh, so you can actually with the three inputs plus the six gauges here, you can actually have a nine gauge kit displayed. Uh, plus there's other additional custom options available. Again, there's our um, the version of the software we have. And we're just gonna go ahead and restart this. Again, doing our self-check. Take this back to zero. You can leave you can leave the screen on whatever you'd like. Blank zero. I'm um, going to give you one more show of these indicators. Again, these are available in black, white, and beige, all with the same features. Actually, all of our three ones have the same features. The only difference is, for example, this is the Woodward series with the deco graphics, and we have other styles as well, but they all have the same features um, in the kits.